Welcome to another video, Mike's Portraits Guitar Lessons in the Coronavirus. What else you going to do to learn to play guitar? This is how, in bloom, from the Varna sounds, this is what we're going to be learning today. <laughs> Well, okay, so as you can see, this song is primarily played by bar and power chords, which are really, really easy, which makes this a really, really, really easy song to learn. All you need is an electric guitar and plenty of distortion, and you're on your way. Um, Nirvana come for the grunge punk era, um, so the, the majority of their songs are played in power chords, which is why everyone likes replicating them. So, I'm not quite sure on this song whether it um, is tuned down half half a step or not. Um, knowing Nirvana, it probably is. So if you play this along with the radio, it probably won't sound the same. All you gotta do is tune the guitar down half a bit and then it will sound exactly the same and you can rock on along with the rest of the Nirvana songs as well. So we're gonna start bar chord. For those of you that don't know what, not bar chord, sorry, power chord, for those of you that don't know what a power chord is, pretty much, I'm going to start up here with the uh, simplest one. My finger is on top string, which is E. This finger here, top string E, fret 1. My, not this finger, but this finger is then going to be on fret 3 on the next string down, which is the A string. And then my pinky finger is going to be on the... D string, same fret. So there is your power chord, your basic power chord shape right there. Now that is the shape my fingers are gonna be taking for the whole of this song. So we're going to, we're gonna call the chords by the fret they're in, not by what they actually are. So, intro, really easy. Power chord, fret six. And you're gonna strum it th three times. That's it. Try not to, when you're playing power chords, try not to hit the strings below because you'll, you'll distort the sound, you'll get a sound that you don't want. You really just wanna be strumming the three strings that you're playing. If you're playing bar chords, then you could do that, but you're not. You're just playing normal power chords. So, intro, first chord, three strums, down, up, down, down, up, down. And then you're gonna quickly move down to um, fret three. And you wanna do that little strumming pattern there. chord which is what I've just shown you that the first chord where I show you the shape the fret one so this finger here should be hitting fret six fret one fret three and fret one if 
you think about if you just think about the numbers, the frets, just with this finger, it all falls into place. <laughs> Then you're going up, slide up to the fourth for the last chord of the intro. The second time round, you play because you only play round. Um, you only do that twice through for the intro. The second time, when you get to the last chord, it's just a quick, like that. Then Dave Grohl comes in. Then you go to the... Um, the verse, now the the uh, the first time you play the verse through, you're gonna play it a bit like the chorus, you're letting it ring, you're making it sound nice and heavy. You play that twice through again, so we're gonna go for that. Um, so. First chord the same as the first chord of the intro. Fret six. Then you're going all the way down to fret two. And you pretty much, pretty much strum them all the same. Well, the first three anyway. Third chord is below the first chord, just a string below. Bang, bang, bang. So move your, move your fingers all the way down one string. You're still on fret six, just move your fingers down. So you go. Mm. And the last two chords are fret seven and fret five. Basically, it's both the frets on the opposite side, on each side of the first chord. And then you go back to the first chord again. between the chords as well, especially in between the first three chords because there's a lot of distance for your hand to travel. Do some open um, strumming. What you do is just moving down from one chord to another. If you're keeping your fingers actually on strings but not actually pressing down you're muting them as well which gives you that nice sort of metally percussion sound so you're doing that that's what you're doing down the strings even though you can't really hear it because it's so quick that's what you do So, that's the first part of the verse done playing, well, it's sort of like the, well, it's the bridge to the verse, really. Then you actually get to the singing bit, um, and what you're going to do, it's going to be a lot of muting with this. So, 
So, what we're doing here, we, we, every time you strum the chord, you're going to just release the pressure on this hand a bit. Like that, see that? So it's not ringing through, and it's not, it's not creating loads of distortion. You can do that two ways as well. You can strum down all the time, like I was then. down up there. Personally for that bit I prefer to strum down. Well I'm also doing this well after I finish strumming each chord. So with the first chord I'm just muting the string with my with my palm my hands called palm muting. I'm muting the string there just to make sure that no noise carries on. So that is pretty much the verse done. So we've got through the intro and the verse really quickly, and you can see you can see how easy this is. Right then, the chorus is just as easy as everything else. It's four chords, and it's it, you basically you just go in, in a square motion or well, technically it's a square motion, but you go around in a circle basically with the uh, with the chorus now. So. Starts off with the first chord of the song, and the second chord, chord of the song as well. You just let it rip, there's no muting, just let it all ring through, let the sustain come out. goes to the next chord which we haven't played in this song yet so basically this next chord is a string down from the second chord which is the third rep so, so that's the third chord then you're going to slide up to the sixth fret on the same strings which is the chord just below the first chord here solo that is how you play um, Nirvana's In Bloom really 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 easy song again all power chords um, easy to learn if you've got any problems with it is there anything that I haven't explained right and you want to know more please send me a message uh, 
give us a like and a share on my page. If you watch it on YouTube, there'll be some up there that will let you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if there's any songs that you want to learn, any songs, any videos that you want me to do, please um, put it in the comments below. And if I know it, I'll help you learn it. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe in these terrible times.